There is your overall leader, Noah Olson. 499 points, his first career event win at the CrossFit Games last night in Mary, and he leads Matt Fraser by 65. Five rounds in the split triplet, pegboard double unders, then 10 single arm dumbbell hang split snatches, 10 single arm dumbbell hang clean and split jerks. 80 pounds here for the men. I think this is a great event to pit your first and second place men against each other. We are underway, Adrian Moonweiler. 10th place overall, not a name you would have expected to see at this point of the competition, but has played his cards right. And here he is for the remainder of the competition. Again, both pegs need to get to the top and then both pegs need to get below that red line for the rep count, Noah Olson. Matt Fraser, Jorben Gumanson got off the wall at the same time. Jacob Hepner closest to the camera. Now they're on to their 100 double unders. There are 22 scored repetitions in each round. They will get credit for just one rep once they complete the double unders. So at 22, that will signify the end of round one. First of five rounds here in event seven. You're looking at the first round, since there's five of them, it's, it's kind of a feeler round. You don't need to go fast. Nobody in here is gonna win the event in the first round. It's, and you don't have to be cautious either. Right? You can just climb the pegboard, do 100 double unders, find your rhythm on the snatch, know what that dumbbell's gonna feel like when you transfer from snatch to clean and jerk, get used to that split and that alternating pull. So this first round's a feeler round for a lot of these athletes. I feel like with dumbbells, you know, they're a movement where rhythm really can, can help you out. And that's one of those things where the more rounds you do, in a lot of ways, the better a dumbbell feels. Matt Fraser in the green and Noah Olson in the red shorts. First two men onto their hang split snatches at 80 pounds. Remember, you have to put the opposite leg forward from the arm with which you're lifting. You lift with your right hand, your left leg has to go forward and vice versa. It is so weird seeing Matt in a jersey that isn't white. Yeah, it's taking uh, some getting used to. No rep for Fraser on his first hang, split clean and jerk. So Fraser and Olsen and Bjorven Gumitsen on the right, they are your leaders. Matt McLeod and Jacob Hepner are fighting for fourth place in the heat, but we are early, just the first of five rounds here. Fraser threw 17, now 18 of the 22 reps in this opening round. Olsen, one rep back. Eighty pounds on the dumbbell for the men. And Fraser and Olsen dead even through one. We move on to round number two. Hey, first feel around is done. Now it's starting to get into your pace and start chipping away at this event. Was that first pegboard easy? How'd you feel coming to the rope? What pace were you holding through the double unders? Could you push the dumbbells a little bit quicker? Now it's time to test some things in the next two rounds. So Matt Fraser done first with his second of five pegboard climbs, and now he is on to his second round of 100 double unders. 22 sc more scored repetitions in this round. 44 will signify the end. The leader's name is highlighted in a blue box at the top of your screen, and the number in the white box will signify how many repetitions that man has completed. Jacob Hepner in lane one, he is back for his second pegboard ascent as he begins round two. Now James Newbury returning to start round two. These are your leaders, Matt Fraser in the middle, Noah Olson on the left in second, and Bjorgen Gubinson on the right. The thing with double honors in the middle of this triplet is that this is your time to kind of think about your game plan coming into the dumbbells. No one's going to come to the middle part of this 100 double honors and try to beat everybody. And often when you try to do that, you trip up a few times and you do the exact opposite of what you wanted to try to do. When you get to the double honors, it's to stay consistent, maybe bring the heart rate down a little bit and move on to the, the dumbbell. Matt Fraser done with his second set of double honors first. He is slightly ahead of Noah Olsen as Olsen will now join Fraser on the 80-pound dumbbell hang snatches. The thing I like what Matt's doing on the right side of your screen is that he's bringing the dumbbell down to the shoulder and then going into the hang. We talked about grip stamina earlier as being an issue. If you came straight down from the top, 
it's going to put a tremendous amount of stress on your grip and your shoulders being able to stabilize that in. So you've seen some guys go straight down to the ground. You can see Bjorkman Carl Goodmanson actually doing that on the right side of your screen. It's a very smart move by Matt Fraser to save his grip. Fraser now on to the 10, hang dumbbell clean and jerks. Now, even though Fraser's beating Olsen right now, if Olsen stays close, he minimizes the damage. If they finish right next to each other, all Fraser can pick up is 10 points. And that's a good feeling for Noah. It's like, what's the worst thing that can happen? Getting right. second to Matt Fraser. Well, I think you're in a pretty good position. A lot of people have been second to Matt Fraser. And what you want to see is that it is only 10 points. It's good for Noah, but 10 points, 10 points, 10 starts points. Starts to add up. Starts to add up. And now you start putting the pressure on perfection on some of these athletes. Because if Matt is going to go on a charge collecting first places again, you're, the demand and the stress on those other athletes becomes greater. And the charge might be starting now as Matt Fraser walking back to the pegboard to start round number three. Here comes Noah Olson solidly in second place, and Jorgen Gumitsen continues in third. But Matt Fraser, hard work pays off is his motto, and he's going to have to put a lot of that in here over the next events in order to catch Noah Olson. So Fraser, that is not the jersey he wants anyway, so he's not going <laughs> to wear it anymore. Jacob Hepner, James Newberry, and Scott Panzik in that group of men who are now just finishing up round number two. We are on to round number three. 66, the magic number in the scoreboard that they need to hit before they will move on to round number four. Olsen on the left, Fraser on the right. Noah Olsen coming into this event with 499 points, 65 up on Fraser. Here's what I want to see from Noah Olsen. I didn't say you had to win the event to have a great event here. I want to see how you handle the pressure of the event. This is going to be an imperative moment for Noah Olsen. If Matt is going to be great at this event, don't try to beat him. Right. Try to beat everybody else trying to beat him. And what we've seen from Noah in the past is that he's tried to win events he has no business trying to win, and he ends up blowing it up. We saw it a couple years ago on the rope climb, the 2-2-2-3. Two, 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 yes. Right? Pacing yourself out. You're great at all of those things, but you put yourself at a disadvantage by going too hard. Maybe let Matt just take this one, but get second, take the 10 point loss and move on to the next event. Matt Fraser now starting to pull away from Noah Olson. This is round three, 10 more. Hang dumbbell split snatches for Fraser. Now Olson has had a few trips here on the double unders. He's done. Bjorgman Gumanson, bottom left of your screen, trying to gain some ground as Matt McLeod in lane eight and Scott Panchik in lane four are now beginning round number three. And this is great proof. You know, Scott Panchik actually, I think, missed his first pegboard rep in that first round, but he's made up ground by just being consistent through the rest of the rounds, now sitting in about fourth place behind Fraser. Fraser with 10 reps to go here in round three. It's the dumbbell hang split clean and jerk. He didn't split at that point. Now, this is where you really have to keep your head about you and make sure that you're doing the movement correctly and not just quickly. It just takes a lot of focus, and the problem with focus is that as you get more fatigue, it becomes harder and harder, because all they want to do is just push the pace. Right, you rely right? on habit. He can do it. Mm -hmm. But when you throw that little wrinkle that has no effect on the movement itself other than tricking you, that's where athletes got to really focus on what they're doing. Noah Olson still in second place, but has now fallen back into third is Jorben Gumanson on the right of your screen. And this is good for Fraser. Fraser needs a lot of people, as many people as possible, to get between himself and Noah Olsen so he can gain as many points as possible and cut into Olsen's lead. Fraser going back now to begin round number four. Fraser threw 66 of the 110 total repetitions in this event. Scored repetitions, I should say, as the 100 double unders count for just one rep on the scoreboard. You know, Sean, we, we just saw Noah Olsen finishing up his clean and jerks. He actually hasn't lost too much ground, but I think he just needs to start focusing more of his attention on BKG than he does he needs Matt Fraser. It's okay to lose 10 in one event, but it's so easy to lose another 20 in total if Bjork and Carl catches up to him if he's not paying attention. Noah Olsen's rep counter has stopped ticking, but he is in second place. He's on the right of your screen. He's making his way up the pegboard. He is behind Matt Fraser for second place. Fraser is on to his fourth round of 100 double-unders right 
middle of your screen in the dark blue shorts. And no, Olsen isn't completely out of it. I'm not saying he's going to get second because we still have two more rounds to go and a lot of work left on the table. And that Fraser has missed a few double unders. He got a couple of no reps on the dumbbell. If Noah can clean up his next two rounds, he can casually put himself back in a contention against Matt Fraser. Noah Olsen just stay close to Matt Fraser and then minimize the damage. Olsen is in second, Fraser is in first, and Bjorben Carl Gubinson closest to the camera in the maroon tank top. He is in third, and Gubinson is ahead of Scott Panchik, the man directly in front of him in the overall standing. So Gubinson looking to vault into third place as Matt Fraser is now done with his fourth round of double unders, and he moves on to the dumbbell, the 80-pound dumbbell, 10 hang split snatches. Noah Olsen in the back in the red shorts. He's breaking up his double unders, as is Jorvan Carl Gumitz and Olsen back to work. Fraser finishing up his set of 10 hang dumbbell snatches. And now moving on to the hang dumbbell split clean and jerks. Here comes Noah Olsen. But Matt Fraser has built a pretty good lead on the overall leader, Noah Olson. Olson coming into the event with a 65 point cushion over Fraser. But that will shrink here if this holds. Another no rep for Matt Fraser as Olson is on his first dumbbell movement, the hang split snatches. Fraser is on his second, the hang dumbbell clean and split jerks. Jacob Hepner and James Newberry. They have just begun round four. They are falling off the pace. Fraser getting set to close out. Round number four, 88 reps. And then it's one final trip back to the pegboard. Olsen going to the chalk. Fraser done with round four and on to his fifth and final round as he works his way back to the pegboard. Noah Olsen stays in second, but he and Bjorgen Gumitsen, it's getting tighter here. And Bjorgen and Carl Gumitsen on the right side of your screen picked it up ahead of Noah, so Noah lost that lead that he had on BKG in that first start of the clean and jerks. This is good news for Fraser. If Bjorgen Carl Gumitsen can get ahead of Olsen, that means that Fraser can pick up 20 points as opposed to just 10 on Noah Olson. Fraser, this is his fifth and final trip up and down the pegboard. Fraser's done and now on to the double unders. Olson is done with round four, so he stays in second place ahead of Bjorgen Carl Gumensen. And Gumensen finishing up his hang dumbbell clean and split jerks. This gets Bjorgen Carl Gudensen took a break halfway through, so after five reps, he actually put the dumbbell down and had to rest in that set of 10. No rep for no Gudensen rep now, as his footwork wasn't where the judge wanted it to be, as Matt Fraser alone in first place. And looking to inch closer to Noah Olsen in the overall standings. Olsen, his fifth and final pegboard climb. And now oh. Olsen slips. Don't Huge go misrep. back up right away, please. <laughs> but for Olsen now, remember, there are no other heats. So Fraser can win. If Olsen stays where he is, he's only going to surrender 10 points. But Bjorvin Carl Gumitsen is back on the pegboard. He's in lane seven. So Gumitsen has now overtaken Olsen for second place. That helps Fraser. Gumitsen done. He's on to the double unders. Fraser's finished with his double unders in this fifth and final round. He will now move to the dumbbell, and here comes Noah Olsen back to the jump rope. Now, can Noah stay calm after he, he essentially did an entire pegboard and missed the last peg at the bottom? Can you stay calm enough to get yourself back into position? It's what we've talked about all weekend, Chase. It's those little tiny mistakes that end up costing you a ton. I mean, like you said, it was the very last hole of that pegboard that Olsen missed. 
considering that those little mistakes exactly. at this point in time in the competition with how much is riding on the line for each single position and place finish. And are even just big the, mistakes. the energy that goes into a pegboard. You miss a clean and jerk, it's not that bad. You miss an entire pegboard rep, that's a lot more effort to get back up. Matt Fraser is done with his hang split stats. In the background, in the red shorts, it's Noah Olson. He's on his double unders. Gerber Carl Gumitson on his. Gumitson had taken a sizable break and Olsen kept going, but now Gumitson is done, and he will move to the double. So Gumitson now in second place. Fraser with 10 reps to go. Here comes Bjorgman Gumitson. Noah Olsen making his way back to the dumbbell. Matt Fraser will be making his way to the finish line. In just five more reps. It's that breaking by Bjorgman, Carl Goodman said that could cost him this second place finish. Two reps to go for Fraser. He's back. Matt Fraser wins event seven. Noah Olson now trying just to surrender only 20 points to Fraser. Gumminson on the right is ahead of him. Here comes Noah Olson. They're dead even with 10 reps to go. Started. Noah Olson in the final set went unbroken for the set of 10, where Bjork and Carl Gumminson has already broken his first set of snatches. BKG has to hold on if he wants to beat Noah. So far, both. Athletes are about even. Olsen may have now just overtaken Bjorgen Gumitsen by about half a rep, and now Olsen, Olsen continuing to work. Three what? reps to go for Noah Olsen. He has moved ahead of Bjorgen Gumitsen. One rep for Olsen. And Olsen is done, and he will finish second. So impressive by Noah Olsen to miss that pegboard but still come back and retake that second place position. Jorben Gumitsen takes third. That's good for 80 points. Now Gumitsen came in in fourth place overall, only seven back of Panchik. So Gumitsen is going to move up. He's going to move into the top three because of that. Jacob Hepner and James Newbury getting set to finish up their events. Jacob Hepner is in, he takes fourth. Meanwhile, James Newberry has finished up. He is in. That'll be a great move for both James Newberry, who is sitting in seventh place, and Scott Panchek sitting in ninth place. Should really help both those gentlemen out as well. We still have Panchek. And Morad, Panchik's on the right, Morad's on the left. Now Panchik, I think if he finishes ahead rounds. of Morad, which it looks like he's is going he in to, round four? Yeah. he is in round four. If Panchik finishes ahead of Morad, Panchik probably stays inside the top five. Less than two minutes to go before we hit the 20-minute time cap. That is Matt McLeod. He's trying to finish, finish up round number five. He is on his hang, clean, and split jerks. Five men have finished. Five men remain on the floor. Matt Fraser, the top time at 15.36. Scott Panchik is in. Panchik will take sixth. Good for 50 points. Now here comes Matt McLeod. I mean, all of these finishes are great for Jacob Hepner. 
Hefner sitting in ninth coming into this, and he finished in a top four position in this event. Might see a kind of a similar situation like Patrick Davis' daughter right. in the previous heat for right. the women. But don't get attached to any of the leaderboards after any event because they're probably going to change every time we step out onto the competition. The floor. 11th athletes in event seven, the leaderboard, <laughs> the scoring system. That's Adrian Moonweiler. 10 seconds to go. And that'll do it as just three men can't complete all the work inside the 20 minute time cap. Matt Fraser gets his third win of the competition, but Noah Olson does enough to minimize the damage, but Fraser will creep closer to the man who's wearing the jersey that he wants. It, and he wants, and he, he's worked for, he's back in, and he gets a first place finish. We knew this was going to happen from Matt Fraser. He was going to come out strong. He was going to come out aggressively. He stayed nice and smooth on the double unders. And once he moved through there, he started to actually take a look like breaks. Noah Olsen, who came in with that 65-point lead on Matt Fraser, had that one stumble. And, I, and me, myself, I was like, this is your moment to fix right. things. Yes. Because right. usually, that is where Noah Olsen crumbles and kind of snowballs into a negative headspace. But Matt Fraser takes the win. But I really loved seeing how Noah responded to that to happen at the very end, trying to chase first, lose that position, and move back ahead of PKG. Matt Fraser back where we're used to seeing him in front of the pack in an event. Matt, we're not used to seeing you come out here without that white leader's jersey. How much does that fire you up to get out here and push to dominate an event? Uh, you know, it was a really disappointing morning, so I came out here. I was, I was going to try to win it, whether it meant I crashed and burned in the process. I, I don't care. I'm, I'm going for it. Did you, did you crash and burn, or did it go the way that you wanted it to go? Did, it, did you crash and burn, or did you approach it in a way that you were able to maintain? Oh, no, I had no idea if I could hold the pace, but didn't care. I'm, I'm going for the wins. One more event in here for you tonight. It's a clean. Weightlifting is your bread and butter. You're going to push to win that one as well? Oh, absolutely. There's nothing better than lifting in the Coliseum. We're going one at a time, so this crowd's going to get fucking crazy. Congratulations. Thank you.